It's Manny Me Day. It's Manny Me Day. Hooray, hooray. My husband goes back to work today. Yay. Actually, it's tomorrow, but that doesn't rhyme, does it? Really, this is getting hard. All right. Here we have this month's Manny Me box. Manny Buy Me, sorry. This is from Maniology. It is a monthly subscription box for nail stuff. And here is the inside of the box. And um, I get one for PR. And that is this box I'm showing you. And then I purchased another box to give away. More information about that at the end. There's going to be a little rant too, okay? I'm not happy. Okay, we're going to be nice right now. Uh, let me get it all, all unloaded. And then we'll, um, I don't know what this is see what we've got in the box. Oh, yes! Yay! A stamping storage. Alright, they loaded us up with um, stuff I gotta throw away. Here is um, the main card you get in the box each month. This box is uh, roughly $25 a month. And if you buy three months at a time or six months at a time or a year at a time, it is a little cheaper. Um, you can also get the Express Kit. And Maniology doesn't send polishes everywhere in all countries. And I get it. For one thing, it's like ridiculously expensive. Um, but you get in the Express Kit, you get two plates and whatever the extra is. And this month, it's the stamping um Holder, book. Oh, I can't I not think of what the heck that is right now. Anyway, storage. <laughs> so every month there's something different in there that you can get um, that is an extra bonus that they put in. So that is another good way to get some stamping plates that um, you want is just to get the express kit and not get the polishes. And then the polishes and the extra are always for sale I don't know, a month or so later, you can get those. So, but usually there's only two cards, and this time we've got four. I think that's a bit much, but whatever. So this month is, um, looks like fairies. Very cute. Um, so Enchanted Forest is the theme, and we have um, Lacewing B469, and it's a moss green with metallic shimmers very pretty and then um, a dusty pink and classic cream finish and it is Faye B470 I will test those and grade those for you on opacity and um, this is actually the same color that pink is the same um, so organize your plates with the touch of magic charm a limited edition enchanted state stamping plate organizer. There you go. Here is uh, the Manny they did. Really cute. Adorbs. And they used the polish to paint their nails and then used the pink in a reverse stamp. And I think we're going to do a reverse stamp today. But then it shows you exactly how, step by step, how they did this Manny. Oh, oh, dang it, I forgot. So I bought two of the shirts. I didn't get that one. I wish I would have. But that's okay. Oh, I know I didn't get it. I didn't get it because it's black. And I can't really wear black in my house because of all the dog fur. So um, I do really like that. And I think you can order different colors of each shirt. So I need to go check that out because I really like that. Um, and... There are shirts and tote bags and all that. Um, I'll show you really quick. I, I, I wore one shirt the other day. Um, I've actually wore both the shirts, but I didn't get a picture of the second one. Okay, and I do have a discount code, and it's Skyline325, and you can save 10%, and I earn a commission. But, you know, when they do stuff like this, no wonder I didn't, like, earn any commission this month. Um, you can save 15% off your next order using Spring 15. Oh, well, thanks, Maniology. 
See, I told everybody last time not to use my code for the um, fundraiser for the Stamp for a Cause, and then they go ahead and undercut me by giving, giving out a 15% code. I'm not salty about that at all. Okay, so we've got these two plates, and I'm sure they're adorable. Their stamping plates are awesome. I really do love their plates. They stamp fabulous. They're always... Um, crisp and clear and I don't have any issues there's only been one plate ever that I really had issues with and boy did I tear them up about that so I'm gonna go ahead and get the film off and we'll take a look at these Ugh. so I don't usually well sometimes I do but I don't usually stamp each Im each image and go through I used to like it takes a lot of time to do that. Yeah, that's a huge mess. Maybe I should. What do you guys think? Do you want to see me swatch the plates on these videos? I mean, I swatched some images. I feel like that gives you an idea of whether or not you want to get it. Uh, just be careful when you're taking off the film that you don't bend your plate. All right. Let's see. Hello. Let's see if we can get them out of the glare and get out of my face out of the way. And this is plate MXM. This is a Manny by me plate. So, or with me or by me or whatever that X stands for. Uh, 101. A look at all the images fairies and flowers and glare oh my very cute oh I like this one better very pretty Sometimes I feel like the, there's too much detail like that image. There's too much detail crammed together, so it really doesn't look like much unless you just stamp it a solid darker color on white or a lighter color. Um, that is my opinion, because I really can't see what that is. I love this image. I love all the delicate little... Flirty fleurs on there. And I think that would be really cute. Reverse stamped. And little mushrooms if you're a mushroom person. Oh, and that is beautiful too. And some flowers that are just a outline. And lots of cute little fairies. And a little fairy house. Oh, and there's another one in there. Really cute. And let's check this out real quick. I, I mean, thank you. I've been complaining about this all the time. <laughs> there's not enough of these little um, storage plate holders that match something like for spring. So I, it says limited edition. So I don't know. I got to get on there immediately and keep an, a watch out because I want like four of these that I could put all my spring plates in. All right, so I've yammered on and on. These will hold 16, so there's eight pl eight pages and they each page ha holds two plates. And on my nails is uh, Adored Colors and this is I Fell For It. Beautiful white. It has some reflective glitters in it. All right. Uh, we're going to start with Faye. B470. Give that a shake a shake. It is freezing here. We had like two weeks of super like almost summer. My, my husband almost turned the air conditioner on one day. Let me tell you. Um, I've got my spring limited edition spring stamper. Gonna be using that. Um, anyway, it has been like totally the opposite now. It's freezing and raining and it's awful. All right, let's use this one. 
Shut up, Kylene. And I played, applied the polish. And then to get the most coverage and the least amount of little um, empty bubble spots, I painted on. I let it sit there for a second. Take a scraper and scrape the bulk of the polish off. And you see I pushed too hard right along here and scrape that polish off. So my fault. And then you're going to roll it in the opposite direction that you stamped so that you don't have any empty spaces. And uh, this, I may have yapped too long and it won't stick. Oh, yes it does. Okay, awesome. Oh, wow, okay. Um, so it is just a little dark. It does great over white and black, as you see. It doesn't really change color, just a little bit um, over what color you've got your base. So this white is going to be just that pink. And over a darker color, it's, it's still pretty opaque. It shows up really well. That gets an A from me. Um, I do have to say, I have noticed that Maniology's website, when you go to look for polishes, um, they are really good about being completely transparent and honest about their pictures. A lot of places, it's like they double stamp it or something and they make that polish super opaque and you know then when you get that polish and you go to stamp it, well this is not as opaque as the pictures show. If you look at the comparisons on there when you look at a polish, um, where it shows it's over, you know, like by itself, over black and over white. It is a very accurate description of what the polish actually is. So this is Lacewing. If you pay attention to that, I usually do. And I thought this was going to be more gold than it seems like it is. There, I did it again. Scraped it too hard. It's all right. It is a really nice reflective, so it looks pretty gold. It looks more gold to me than green. But this also gets an A. I mean, it's been kind of a long time since I can could give uh, Maniology some shit about their opaqueness of the polish. Okay, now what do I want to do? I'm going to do a reverse stamp. I love this image and this image. And I think I'm going to start with this and then grab a couple polishes to do um, a reverse stamp or an advanced stamp. And that picked up beautifully. And my fingers are really not that big. So that is going to be a pretty big hole in the middle, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I might just do an edge. I thought I'd put a little fairy in there too. I don't know. All right. I'm going to grab some other polishes to color that in and get a little army of stampers lined up here to color. Next, I'm going to grab a very fine detail brush. There are many out there. I've got several from Maniology over here, but I don't have them clean right now. <laughs> so I'm not going to be using those. And we're going to just color these in. And these are the images that I picked. And I grabbed several other colors, spring colors. These are not very opaque. They're not super opaque, as you can see. Um, but they will be great over white. And I have Pawfect, Pasture, and Winnie. So I thought this green would be pretty inside of this gold, yellow, green. It's supposed to be moss green, but... And I'm just going to very lightly um, not really drag against the stamping. And I 
and I'm just going to color all those images in. I'm just dragging the polish to fill it in. See, I'm already, it's hard to stay in, in, in frame because you can see it, but guess what? I can't. Tedious work, but um, it's worth it. And then you can flip it over and see what you missed. All right, I'm going to color all these in, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm definitely going to use some sticky base coat. Uh, I just grabbed Purple Willow, Sticky Sweet. Uh, Maniology makes a sticky base coat. It doesn't really matter. I don't use them as base coats against my nail. I use them uh, to stamp. So I'm going to paint on sticky base coat. Um, you put it on pretty thin. You don't have to wait like a couple of minutes, a few seconds, whatever. And I'm going to put this little mushroom right here. Oh, he's very cute. And this a uh, gorgeousness. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it here. I don't know. I feel like that um, using a darker outline might have been better. But this looks pretty good. And then I'm going to put a little fairy, I think, in there. I don't know. I think I will maybe try to put that little squatting fairy in there and just use the pink because it's kind of dark. Yeah, she's just um, um, covering a squat in there. <laughs> Guideline. And then I'm going to take some acetone additive, and it's just like a, a cuticle oil. And this one is scented. This was made especially for me. Um, pineapple upside down cake. Thank you, Christy. And some acetone. I almost dripped that right on my stamper. That would have been a tragedy. And then I'm going to clean all this up. You really need um, a thick quick dry top coat and absolutely if you like maniologies quick dry use it um, I am just not a fan of it I don't think it dries that fast sorry maniology I think that they are fine they like a lot of indie indie brands that really care about what they're doing um, they want people to like their stuff everybody's not gonna like everything it's just the way it is but Glisten and Glow, I love this top coat. Other people maybe don't like this top coat. But you really just need to try different top coats and find which one works best for you. 
but you do need a top coat to smooth everything out and seal it in. All right, there we go. We got two plates in there. And I for sure have 14 more spring plates to put in here. So that's going to be nice. I really like that. Really appreciate Maniology doing this and making sure that we've got plenty of stamping storage options. I do have their big books. I have them all. And they're all full, like several of them. Um, I really like the quilted one, the big storage one. It's got like, I don't even know how many it holds. Quite a few. But I really like these the best. Just me. Maybe. All right, what do you guys think? I get up there close where you can't see it. I don't know. I wish I would have used a darker color for the outline. But I think it's cute. I really like that one the, the best. Well, they're really cute. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to give you a little talking to. Okay? A little talking to about the giveaway. And um, show you the shirts that I bought. Okay, here's the shirt. <laughs> um, this is freezing in here, okay? This is one of the shirts I got from Maniology, the other shirt. Um, this is a large, I, I probably should have gotten a medium because I thought that they would run kind of small, but, ooh, flushed your belly. They really don't, so if you're a medium, get a medium. Um, the giveaway I have like had it up to here with the spam on YouTube first it was the porn spam all the time underneath people's comments and I finally think I got rid of that black blocked them whatever finally stopped now it seems to be the giveaway saying you won and I'm sorry to everyone that happened to um, you know obviously I don't control that um, I go in right away and start deleting and reporting those and you guys did too and I appreciate that and then everybody was telling me like the notifications on Facebook and Instagram were hitting and I had tons of those private messages saying that they're on there telling me it's that they won or and I've got several emails saying I won and um, I'm not going to pick a, a winner right away first of all second of all I always do a, a post and it's never right away never right away um, so I'm not going to have you follow any link either never going to have you follow a link in the description or in the in the comments to telegram no not gonna ask you to pay so let's just dispel that crap right now just put enter me in the comments and um, I really don't want to have people put their Instagram or email or a way for me to contact you I really don't want to do that because I don't want your information out there. I know it's out there and mine's out there, but that's not something I want everybody just to be able to click on and send you an email or whatever. I, I don't want to do that. Although I should, I don't know. I don't know, what should I do? Um, right now, let's just go ahead the way we've been doing this giveaway. I don't have that box in my possession right now it's not been sent to me yet the one i have is just pr that was sent to me for pr um last time i had lucas just go through the comments because people were telling me hey when when are you going to do the we're going to do the giveaway you haven't picked the giveaway you said the 10th i shouldn't really put any dates up that was just kind of like a that's about what time i want to do it so maybe if i've got it down on paper i will remember to do it um, but I had to wait because Lucas wasn't going to be here till the next day. So I went ahead and had him just go through the comments and just pick a name. He can't read. So, you know, I don't know why he picked the one he picked. That's the one he picked. Um, so 
he really enjoyed doing that. I had him do it on Instagram last month and he loved it. And he kept asking me if he could do it again. I would just let him go through and pick one. Oh, good job, buddy. Um, but maybe I'll have, I'll just, maybe I'll record him picking the next one. And then, um, I'll put that as a, as a short YouTube short or anyway, I've been announcing in the community tab. So if you're, if you are subscribed and you hit that bell, it's going to show you my community tab is going to come up on your feed. My reels are supposed to come out up on your feed, but evidently that doesn't work either. Um, on the shorts on YouTube shorts because it was a big sale on Madam Glam last week, two days only, 50% off for everyone. And I posted that when I posted Instagrams and it came up on my reel on Instagram and I didn't go check on YouTube and it didn't post till the 17th. And I'm sorry, it was like past when you could get the 50% off. I'm sorry. Yes, that's it. Just know that's not me. It does, they do copy my picture and put it on there, but I'm not going to ask you to follow a link. Especially when you got a download. Not going to happen. All right, you guys. That's it. Thanks for joining me. Bye. I did pretty good. I didn't get real mad. That's good, right?